for my space class, our final was we had to create an outfit for the end of the world. So we had to think we were survivors in a sort of future kind of post-apocalyptic time. And I created armor made out of copper and cut up tires. And I sewed my own pants out of faux fur. I'm from Charlottesville, Virginia, and I chose VCU Arts because it is a major public research institute. I was really attracted to the idea of professors being within the field that they're teaching currently in order to be able to teach students. So that means that they're teaching me the best techniques and the most current attributes about whatever I want to study. Students coming into art school are coming from very different backgrounds and we just want to give them a chance to get on the same level playing field and make sure they all know all the options that are here at VCU Arts before they actually enter into their majors. I am from Starkville, Mississippi, and I chose VCU Arts mainly because it's a fantastic art program, but it's also part of a larger university, so I am able to get that great art education as well as, you know, study science and math and all the other things. It was that nice sense of community that I really loved. I'm from Whitestone, Virginia, and I decided on VCU Arts for a bunch of reasons. Definitely their high ranking, as well as VCU having a low tuition compared to the other high ranking art schools, but I think most of all I chose VCU Arts because I really love the culture here. Before I came to VCU, had a few art classes, but was generally self-taught. So to be able to not only have a classroom space with peers where I could explore and learn more about art, but to be able to use those facilities 24 seven, whenever I needed to, really helped me expand how I work in a creative environment. Art Foundation is your first year at VCU Arts. It's broken down into four studios. So it's drawing, which, you know, live models, using charcoal, graphite, ink, and then there's space, which is a fancy word for sculpture. Anything that takes up space, and within that you're required to work with wood. From one of my space projects, we had to actually make a series of shelves, which I had never done before. I'd never even touched a wood shop. And it was really interesting to be able to tell a story with something that I originally considered something like furniture or, or like an attribute of like a house or something like that and use that to make something narrative. There's surface which is 2D exploration so there's color theory, painting, collaging, graphic design elements, things like that. One surface project where we had to go to the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts and basically we went around the whole museum and found a piece that we didn't like then for our homework, we had to research the artist, why it was made, why the materials were used, really breaking it down. And then we had to create a response piece. It really helped me dive in of why this piece was created. I respect the artist so much more than just looking at their art on a surface level. And then there's time. So anything with the start and stop. So animation aspects, video, sound, performance, the studio spaces are great and they're like nothing I had ever experienced before coming to VCU. AFO has these classes that are called project classes and they're really awesome. Basically students get to try their hand at the departments that they think they want to go into so they can confirm this is what they want to be doing and they like the feel of the departments and the professors and the work they'd be doing there. The project classes I took, I took sculpture the first one and I absolutely fell in love so I knew that that was what I wanted to go into. And then I took fashion design project class. And the project we did was, uh, we went to a thrift store, had to get something that was under $5. And so I got this kind of like tweed woman's coat and then I turned it into a purse. I tried the art education project class and tried the painting and printmaking project class. And that's where I immediately felt way more at home and realized I wanted to be making work and less so teaching. There are a ton of resources available for students in Art Foundation. Within our own building, there's a whole checkout area where students can borrow things like tripods, cameras, green screens, dress forms, sound recorders, and lots of other things. It's really great because I had never had experience with a lot of that equipment before. So being able to have access to the checkout system really made it easy for me to explore a lot of different projects. 
there's just so much opportunity for a young person in the arts here.